evening, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Breakfast with Dave. In today's episode, we're gonna make a salt baked sea bass and roasted baby potatoes. With this approach, we thought we would base the episode around the holiday tradition and cook a fresh fish dinner. On Good Friday, Christians all over the world abstain from eating meat to support the Lord's sacrifice and therefore they turn to fish. In today's dish, we are gonna make the, your standard fish dinner. We're gonna make the most moist fish dinner you'll ever eat. You might be surprised that by covering your fish entirely with salt will give you unbelievable results but you're about to find out. The salt coating will help the fish cook even in the oven, locking in the moisture without the need of any cooking oils. I know you're probably wondering, but no, this does not make the dish too salty, I promise you. The skin and salt help preserve the meat, making the end result this perfectly seasoned fish, which is unbelievably delicate. Okay, let's make a start on the fish. You can make this dish using whatever fish you want. For today, I chose sea bass as it's one of my favorites because of the firm, moist, tender and buttery flesh. But before we get started, make sure you preheat your oven to 200 degrees. As you can see, our fish is already gutted. You can gut the fish yourself, but to save time, you can simply ask your local fishmonger to do this for you. We begin by filling the fish with our mix of herbs. Then take a tablespoon of your blended herb mix and spread it across the fish belly, just like this. Next, it's onto the salt mixture. Separate your eggs, reserving only your egg whites. Using a large mixing bowl, whisk your egg whites until they're stiff. This should take approximately a couple of minutes and at the end it should uh, look like this. Now that the egg whites have a soft and creamy consistency, we can add the remaining of the flavor makers, the herbs. Add and stir them in until they're all combined. Next we pour in the rock salt, a little bit at a time, and mix well until all combined. Lastly we pour in the fine salt, again a little bit at a time, and mix well until all combined. You want the mixture to be completely incorporated and resemble wet sand. If you think it's too dry, add another whisked egg whites or a little water to moisten it. On the other hand, if it's too wet, feel free to add a bit more salt. Next, take your baking dish and line it with baking paper. We need to create a layer of our salt mixture on our baking dish for our fish to lay on. Smooth it down so it lays flat. Place the fish in your baking dish on top of the salt base. Add three slices of lemon inside the fish. Spoon the remaining of the mix on top of the fish and using your hands, 
Mold the salt around the fish so it surrounds and covers the fish. Once your fish looks like this, it is ready and you can pop it in the oven for 30 minutes. We now turn our attention to the potatoes. Drizzle some olive oil in a baking dish and pop these sliced potatoes in one at a time. Next throw your chopped onions on top, followed by the black olives. And to add a layer of extra flavour, add a splash of white wine. Then season with salt and finish it off with fresh rosemary. Come on in. While the fish and uh, potatoes are getting ready in the oven, we can make a little sauce with the remaining parsley and dill. Uh, so what I'm going to do is to chop the parsley and dill. Smell it. Doesn't it smell beautiful, huh? Oh my goodness. Smells of, smells of summer, if you ask me. This is like a classic, um, classic Italian sauce that uh, my mum used to make. So next, what we want to do is to uh, chuck in some olive oil in the bowl, just like that, very simply. And then you want to mix in the herbs. And then with a fork, just simply mix them in. And then you're gonna drizzle this beautiful sauce on top of your fish. You're gonna love it. Let me know in the comment down below what you think. Okay, 30 minutes have passed. Look at this beautiful golden crust. And you can tell that the fish is cooked by the eye. You see this beautiful white eye and the golden crust. Okay, so now I'm going to take the fillet out. Oh wow, look at this beautiful fillet. Next I'm gonna get some of these crunchy potatoes. Oh, they're so crunchy. Beautiful. Look at them. Absolutely gorgeous. The smell of this is unbelievable. I'm gonna dive in. Mm. This is so tender. It's so light, like perfectly seasoned as well. You wouldn't think that with this crust, it, it, it'd be like perfectly seasoned, but it genuinely is. I really, really like it. Mm. The flesh is so moist and juicy, and, and the potatoes are like nice and crunchy. It's kind of a fancy chip. You can taste the onion, the olives, and even the splash of red wine on them. Okay, so now what I want to do is to put on a little bit of the sauce. There you go, just like that. Mm. Bone. Two bones. Mmm. Enhances all the flavors. It's got like a really nice and rounded kick of herbs. Beautiful. Mmm. I'm gonna chase it with a potato, with a potato and the onion. 
is just all you want on a perfect summery day. The white wine complements so well with the fish and potatoes. Absolute perfection. If you want to replicate this dish, you'll find the recipe in the description down below. If you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you get notified every time I publish a new video. And let me know how you get on with your cooking. Tag me on Instagram at breakfastwithdave. And until then, ciao for now!